a game like today? Our rotations were better. Our, um, <clears throat> our half-court defense that we go over every day, every time we practice was much better. Weak side was better. Um, you know, everything that we talked about this morning that we didn't do yesterday, we did much better today. But when you look at the, the way the game, I mean, they had six players uh, at tip. Penny, do you, you know, guys saying it, it's got to be about us. It, it can't be regardless of winning by 75 points. It's yeah, no be, doubt. No doubt. I'm sorry for interrupting. But, no, yeah, it's what, always about us. We know, we know what we want to look for. We're holding ourselves to a higher standard. Uh, we can't look at the competition. We know that if we're playing the toughest team in the country or the worst team in the country, that it's going to be about us and what we believe in and what we learn, what we teach and what we've learned. And that's what the guys are doing. When you're playing against yourselves, what types of things do you want your guys to be thinking when they're on the court? About all the principles that we do. Defensively, we're boxes and elbows. The ball goes weak side, then everybody gets off. We got a nail and a low man. I know there's basketball turns, but sprint back in transition. Uh, communication has to be really good. And when the ball goes up, hit somebody. Offensively, push the ball and share it. It's just pretty easy for us. So grading today's performance? You know, it was much better than yesterday because we, we made up for the mistakes that we made yesterday and came in better today. Even though the talent wasn't, wasn't as good, um, but we still did things the right way better today than we did yesterday. All right, Coach, obviously you guys have uh, um, the awesome office side that you play the Bombers national team. Step up in competition. Uh, they beat the Texas Tech where it is yesterday. Is there a different approach or a same approach? No, it's all about us. We understand there's going to be better competition, and that's what we want. We want uh, to play the better competition to see what we really are. Um, I designed it that way for a reason so we can get a couple games in to kind of get, get our uh, feet wet and then uh, be ready for Saturday. But it's going to be more about us than it is going to be about them. Penny, as you reach the halfway point of this four-game set, what do you like? What's still left to work on? I mean, where are you at coaching-wise as you're halfway through? Uh, the things that I like is how we're sharing the ball on the offensive end. We're being very unselfish and defensively how we're playing our scheme. Our schemes are working, and uh, when we have to adjust, the guys are adjusting when we have to because obviously we haven't seen these teams. So the first quarter is kind of like our little our, uh, scouting report, and then we go from the second quarter on trying to uh, trying to figure it out. You got an off day tomorrow. Um, I know you, you're you're hoping to play golf, but for your guys, games are different than practice. Do mm -hmm. do they need to throttle it down? Do they need a day to kind of get their legs back before you finish this thing off on the weekend? Well, yeah, I think I'll, you know tomorrow we have a camp because we're going to give a camp back to the uh, to the city and um, and uh, and go down tomorrow morning and have a camp for the kids. And uh, after that, we're going to give the guys uh, pretty much the rest of the day off until tomorrow night where we have some festivities. But uh, they do need a day in between and just kind of rest because Saturday's game is going to be much better. A lot of these guys, they just say, we're hoopers. We just want to play. It doesn't matter what the competition is. Do you feel the same way? Well, I mean, we, we can't control who's in front of us. We just picked the teams. and we didn't, we didn't know any of the teams before we came over. So uh, I do like that they... They, whoever goes out on the floor, no matter if it's the best team or the worst team, they still want to compete at a high level. So obviously, we want the higher teams, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna get that on Saturday. A couple of really nice games for DJ, would you say? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, DJ's athleticism is gonna show up. I'm um, always gonna continue to challenge him, but uh, he's doing really well out there on the floor for us with his energy and his uh, his ability to make plays on the offensive end. Has he come a long way just in a short time, or is is this kind of? No, that's that's who that's been who DJ Jeffries has been talent wise. I think what we've done is kind of uh, made him more aware of things defensively, and then kept helped sharpen his skills that he already had offensively, and it's all coming together for him. Damian's had two highlight plays back to back nights. Does that sort of uh, solidify what you've said in the past, which is people don't realize how good Damian Ball is? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Damian is a sleeper. Uh, maybe after this trip, not so much, but he's a kid that. That flies below the radar, but has a really, you know, five-star game. Uh, defensively, he's one of our best defenders. Offensively, he's a, he's our, probably our best passer and, and, and creator, and, uh, and very unselfish. So um, he's he's doing really well on this trip. Did you see he made Sports Center's top ten plays yesterday? You've been in that a few times. Yeah, for is, sure. Is he a member of the club now? Oh, no doubt about it. Anytime you make Sports Center, that's a, that's a good thing because they have to choose from a bunch of videos that they want to show and a bunch of plays. And for you to make that, they thought that was pretty sweet. So. I'm happy for Damien. Penny, has anybody surprised you? I mean, you've had him for three months. So we've seen him twice. But has anybody kind of, oh, okay. No, I, I'm seeing what, I, what I've seen for the last three months, really, especially the last month. You know, the guys are coming to their own. They understand our language. They understand the principles of what we want to do and just the talent level. We wanted to see when the game started, you know, who would do what. But the guys that have been doing well are, are doing well now. But you mentioned it yesterday. I mean, you, you still got three of your bigs out. Two of them are five-star talents. So is... 
I mean, what can you say about what this team can be once everybody gets on the floor? It can be very special. Um, I'm not going to, you know, back off of what our, our uh, goal is, and that's a national championship. We have that. Uh, it's up to me and the staff to just kind of continue to kind of mold the talent that we have. And, and these guys, you know, come together as a group, and uh, the sky's the limit for us. Coach, you just tell us a bit about the teams, um, team building activities. I know a lot of times when schools come down, they use it as an opportunity to kind of get the guys a bit closer. Mm -hmm. so tell me a bit about that. Uh, well, we had the tour of, of the Bahamas and uh, of Nassau, and uh, we had a great tour guide to go around and, uh, and teach us about the history of, of the Bahamas, of, of Nassau. And uh, they've had, like, water activities where they've done, like, the snorkeling and, and got on the sea dudes and things of that nature. And tomorrow they have some more water activities. Um, so, and then they've gone to the beach. So they're, they're enjoying themselves and, uh, and having lots of fun and bunning. Uh, I love Nassau. It's one, of, it's one of my favorite places. What about the food they eat? Have they run into? Oh, man, they've been eating too much food. <laughs> no, but they've been eating lots of food, and it's, uh, it's just a great place to come and, uh, and bond.